you're healing the body of cancer. Your auntie could have had cancer. Your grandma could have had cancer. Your pops could have had cancer. You don't get cancer if you change the environment that your cells yeah. are in. So that don't determine things like that. But you know, your heritage and your genes do can they that do have a lot to do with your hair growth though. They do yeah. so. It it's, could, it's, it's crazy it could you said that too. Well. Yeah. Yeah, because my mom's all her brothers are pretty much they don't have any hair. Um they I'm got saying? facial hair though. They got yeah, facial hair though. But I ain't got saying? I ain't got that and so, I'm thirty six, so 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 that yeah. so that might be that yeah. might be hereditary, brother. And I hate blaming everything on genes, but mm -hmm. genes are the cause of some things. So I'd be a liar if I yeah. sit up here and tell you that. Right. But process of right. elimination, make sure that you alkaline. Make sure you eat yeah. alkaline forming foods. Make sure that you are hydrating the body with H3O2 and H2O. Do H3O2 okay. if you can't afford it. Get your water from your fruits if you can't afford it. Make sure that you stimulate the follicles of your hair. Stimulate okay. them. Get you a hard bristle brush and brush your hair. Do it in swirls to stimulate those follicles and make uh -huh. sure that you're washing your hair and you're keeping your pores open but keep it moist as well. And uh, you should get some hair growth. If not, then it's de it's definitely the genes, brother. Blame it on the genes. Okay. Got you. But I also, just my top of my hair, also my body hair did is doing the yeah. same thing. Yeah, but see, uh, mostly if, yeah. if you're... Usually when you when you naturally can't grow hair on the outside mm -hmm. of your body, you can't grow hair on the inside of your body as well. So I would okay. be worried more about that because, like, for instance, you have these little villi hair follicles that's in your intestines that help you move your food to your duodenum. Mm -hmm. You see that? Uh, you hear, yeah. by the way, of air, hair that's in your ears. How you smell, mm -hmm. this has something to do with the hair senses that's in your nose. So hair is an extension of your nervous system. It's way more than just aesthetic aesthetic look. Mm -hmm. Actually, it protects you and it actually conveys with the external environment and bring back certain different melanin neurotransmitters to tell you how to interact with your external environment. So usually people that have okay. hair that don't have hair on the outside is lacking hair on the inside as well. And hair is a major, major function function uh, function to your internal organs as well. So I want you to okay. look up that and have a hard time growing hair, have a nervous system problem. But we already talked about your autonomic nervous system and how your adrenals ain't responding right. And that's the reason why you was going through adrenal fatigue. Yeah, yeah, most definitely, because I definitely got tired, man. But I got you. I'm, I'm going to go. I, I think I got Ashley down upstairs, but I'm going to definitely get these, one of these other two as well. Um, lastly, too, man, I want to say this, and I don't want to hold nobody else up. Um, now, this is what I noticed. I used to, I ended up getting, had getting, getting on blood pressure medicine a year or two ago. I winged myself off, but then my mom, she got sick, so I ended up getting back on it. Um, but I don't have to take a full dose or anything. I'm pretty much detoxing to get off of it. Because uh, my mom your, had breast that's cancer. Yeah. That's your kidneys and your adrenals, though, bro. Yeah. Like, when you look at your yeah. blood pressure, the top number is called systolic. That's supposed to be 120. That's your yeah. adrenal glands. The bottom number is diastolic. That's your actual kidneys. You see that? That's mm -hmm. supposed to be between 70 and 80. So if you have hypertension or high blood pressure, that's showing you right now that your kidneys and your adrenals are obstructed. So you okay. really need to focus on healing the kidneys and the adrenals. And if that hydrostatic okay. or that oncotic pressure is high, it will cause its acids to form in certain places that will interrupt hair growth. Because most of the okay. energy will go towards trying to level out or balance out the hydrostatic pressure, you know what I'm saying, or the oncotic pressure, and it won't go towards neutralizing, I mean, uh, giving the cells their nutritional values mm -hmm. to even for you to even grow hair. So I think you need to focus on them kidneys and the adrenals first, for real. Okay. And this makes sense about that. what you said about retaining water, too. Yeah. This will go back to And the thing about it, yeah, the thing about it, I'm not sweating or nothing like that. I just, I used to drink a bottle of water and had to pee back out in 15 minutes. Now it take me almost an hour or two to, to, to urinate. So yeah, but that's that's I, because I mean, you're dehydrated. That's because you're dehydrated. But if okay. you look at high blood pressure, high blood pressure is what causes dehydration, though. And that's oh. what causes the brittling or the hardening of the actual artery walls, or what you would call the vascular system. So mm. hydration okay. plus damage to the kidneys and the adrenals will cause hypertension. So Got so you. that. So you need to drink more water. So if you're drinking only 32 ounces a day, you probably need to skip it up to about 55 ounces a day. I can do that. Yeah, sure. and if you see any swelling in your lower legs or edema coming in, go back mm -hmm. down to like 42 ounces because that means the kidneys were more structured than we thought. Uh, what okay. I recommend you do, though, go on that website. You need the kidney and adrenal kit, man. Okay. The kidney and adrenal getting... kit. That okay. includes out your kidneys, get your adrenals back online, take away a lot of that hydrostatic pressure, and change that diet up. If I was you, I'd do it on an all-fruit and vegetable diet, brother, and you would look up and you won't have it no more. I had high blood pressure. I was taking mm. high blood pressure for five years. I, my penis couldn't even get hard, brother. Mm. Seriously, that's how, that's how much I was messing with my blood circulation. Then I ended up getting a heart attack 
Uh, well, mm. I ended up attacking my heart at the age of 21. Man, so I was I've been I've been watching you for a while, brother. I've been I want to I want to tell you something, man. How you helped me? My mama had breast cancer, so that's why I hey, you know you know I got off the blood pressure meds and got back on it. But she had breast cancer. Um, it was hard to keep her on just all fruits, but we had got a plan. And I put her on all fruits. I kind of got some of your herbs from. Well, I seen some, but you were talking about some of your videos. You had one young lady that you hit her breast cancer, and I got her on all fruits, man. When she went back, her CA one two eight was like a normal range. See? It was benign when it came, See, to a, bro. So I can't wait to tell my brother. I'm gonna get on that. I'm get, bro. Yeah, I'm for sure, for sure. Straight up. Yeah. See that? But look, you healed. You healed your mother of breast cancer with the information. You you took the yeah. information, you applied it, and boom. Yeah, you see what I'm saying? Like, I, and that's all I be asking people to do instead of like clowning me or, or because I know what I know I can sound crazy because it sounds taboo, but just apply the information and if if it don't work, then call me a liar. And I see right, you tried right. it, so man, hey, I appreciate you. Man, I've been now you just got following you for a long time, man. You do, for real, you the truth, do it on yourself now, though. Now it's yeah. time for you to apply these things for yourself, brother. Yeah. Yes, sir. I got you. I'm going to do it, man. All right. So, yep. Definitely. Kidney and adrenal kick. Uh, all fruit and vegetable diet. You can cook your vegetables, but eat your fruit raw. But you still can cook your vegetables. Uh, kidney and adrenal okay. kick. And increase your liquid intake to about 55 ounces of liquids a day. If you can, do half H3O2, which is water from your fruit, and then the other half do H2O. That way you ain't spending that much money on them fruits. I got you. I can do that. That's all right, easy. my brother. I'll all talk right. to you soon, King. All God right, bless you, man. Thanks, man. God bless you. Yes, peace. Yeah. You see this that little X in your top? There you go. You see that, y'all? When you listen to the information, you buy the herbs and you apply them. He bought the herbs. He listened to the information. Mama don't got cancer no more. It be that simple. And that's why you see we got all these te these cancer testing here, especially breast cancer. Whether we talking about triple negative, invasive, ductal uh, uh, carcinoma, whether we talking about uh, HER2 positive, we see a bunch of these paperwork coming in where they was where they was clinically diagnosed with cancer, and then all of a sudden they go on the geogenetic therapeutic package, or they 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 start they start listening to the to actual diet program, and then boom, they don't have it no more. You know what I'm saying? Now I'm getting out of the sand of me being a healer because the body heals itself, so I'm not taking uh, any of that. You know credit no more because y'all body is naturally healing itself but i'm damn sure taking the credit for the information because i am spreading it and it does work and we've been doing this for so so long so i'm taking the credit for spreading the information but i'm not taking the healing credit for the body i didn't heal his mama i didn't go you know he went and bought the herbs off the site he went and got the the diet and he he helped her facilitate but he didn't heal his mama either guess who healed his mom his mama body healed herself because your body is uniquely miraculously intelligently made and we just got to provide the cells that right environment uh conditions for the cells can thrive in and regenerate themselves you can regenerate every part of your body you can family all right who else we got who else we got let's see i'm gonna do a couple more y'all Peace, peace. Hi, good night. How are you? I'm doing good. How you doing? I am great. So um, I ordered a bunch of stuff off the site. I'm waiting for them to come. What What you order? Um, a bunch I, of stuff? <laughs> yeah, a bunch of stuff. Um, I did email and um, email you guys emailed back and told me just wait a little longer and you okay. know, it will come. And I said, okay. But um, so the issue I'm having is that I've been a hairstylist for over 18 oh. years, right? Okay. Uh -huh. And uh, like, I notice now, I'm, I eat pretty good. I'm on a 40-day fast now. Oh, um, I'm drinking your juice that you oh. recommended. Oh, um, you know, I'm doing that. And I'm, you know, I'm off the fast in 10 days. But like, my body is not that, this is not, the, the fasting is not the issue at all. It's been an issue for a long time because I've been standing up for a long time because I do, you know, I work mm -hmm. long hours. So my hip hurts, my arm right here, like it just, it just started hurting from last week, but tonight, not tonight, but like maybe like all week, it's been hurting so bad. I can't lift my right hand. I can't do anything with my right do, hand. Do it hurt as in like stiffness, pins and needles? Or do you feel numbness? I feel, I feel like it's, po I feel like there's pins in your poking. Yeah, pins and needles. Okay. Yes. So it sounds, 
to me, and then so it sounds like to me you standing on on your your bones like that for eighteen years. Uh, you probably cause some type of uh, bone obstruction or right. skeleton obstruction, and then right. you usually see people that work on their feet a lot. They develop something called neuropathy. Right. So I'm wondering if you're going through some type of uh, neuropathy or arthritis. But you know, all these things happen from acids, though. So diet plus standing all day and not do you stretch or you into yoga? I don't. See? So that's so it sounds like I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I don't think I wouldn't blame everything on your diet for this one. This mm -hmm. is more of a posture and movement issue. Right. I think that you need to correct your posture and you need to move more. You need to make sure that you're walking more and that you're stretching more and hydrating more. Right. See, I'm not here to sell herbs. Now, mm -hmm. what the herbs are going to do, the herbs are going to help you get rid of the acids that you have metabolically built up in your body. Mm -hmm. But if you go back to standing without moving throughout the day again, it's going to happen again. So right. I suggest you do this. This is what I would do. Every morning when I wake up, I wouldn't eat anything. I would always skip breakfast, and I would drink at least 12 ounces of uh, water, spring water or some hydrative juice, okay. something like okay. coconut water or cucumbers. Mm -hmm. Right after you drink mm -hmm. that, you need to go immediately into uh, what you would call stretching. I have something. I have a stretch for you that's very, very good for you. It's called the five lights. Mm -hmm. I'm going to show it to you real quick. Okay. And you do this every morning. I'm going to Google it for you, and I'm going to let you look it up. Okay, great. Right here. Go right here. Let me see. The five rights. This did my body so good. So write that down on your paper. The five. Start mm -hmm. this soon. Start this soon as you get up. Okay. All right. So here go the five rights right here. Let me change my turn my screen around real fast. So you see that this is the five rights. It's five right. minutes. Tibetan rights are a system of dynamic asana exercises. And they, and they just show you how to move your body. Mm -hmm. The five Tibetan rights are a system of Tibetan rights are often. See that? And they just show you how to move your body. They do a downward dog stretching because you standing on your feet, that's automatically lower back compression. Yeah. So you're going to have to. You're going to have to most definitely get all of that pressure off your back. You see what I'm saying? Right, right. Uh, you want right. to stretch your legs. You need to move your ligaments and you need to, you just need to move your ligaments and rotate your body more. It just sounds right. like that you're stiff and you're stiff and you become an acidic and that's messing with your circulation and it's right. causing your, your nervous system not to communicate with the rest of your cells in right. your body. That's, the, that's the, the tingling sensation, the pins and needles. Like even with that, just warm that area up tonight. Stretch your arm. Make sure you do some shoulder rotating exercises and then drink yeah. make sure you hydrate it and that'll go away right but you just sound yeah. like you, you sound like you becoming stiff and you don't want to solidify like that no because i have a lot more time to do some more hair so i don't want to like go out like that you know i had to cancel every appointment i had this week it was terrible you know i still feel i still feel terrible right now because i have like this thing on there and you know trying to like yeah. for it to the swelling to go down yeah, see but see you you need to use you need to use temperature for the swelling to go down you need to put some ice on there then right after you put some ice on there mm -hmm. you need to come back and then you need to warm the tissue up put a heat pad on there oh, and then okay. in the meantime in between time make sure that you stretch in the area and you hydrating for you can get right. some actual yes you can get some liquid molecules into those areas your problem is that you lack motion you need more motion and more movement and you need to stretch and move your ligaments yeah that's all it sounds like it sounds like that you solidifying because you're standing in one area all day and you're not moving that's so, true uh, so you this need to start is, this one is a hot one i need to yeah. do the cold yeah one. you gotta do the cold it's yeah. called you have to do the alternative to alternate the temperatures right that's what's gonna bring good blood flow to that right area. Yeah. right so just just think about it like this the lack of movement is the lack of blood flow the lack right. of blood flow is the lack of oxygen and nutrition the lack of oxygen and nutrition called anaerobic state right anaerobic state is when your cells suffocate and you don't get any nutrients to those levels so what's happening is your body is trying to create circulation so you're gonna feel pins you're gonna feel needles you're gonna feel numbness you're gonna numbness because yeah. yeah you're, you're right feel, you, you be I, having to do this and stuff yes, yeah because that's like you're not i moving. can't sleep on my stomach anymore because my both so, my arms my so hand numb. will just so start numb. to get feel numb yeah, you lack in circulation 
circulation. So yeah. you need to you need yeah. to get you need to get that circulatory system up. So take the herbs, increase your walks. I think you need to do at least start off doing. So I can't go straight to ten thousand steps a day mm -hmm. because you ain't you don't walk a lot. So I right. say at least at least do three thousand steps a day. Right. Get on your phone, download the uh, app and shit. If you got an Apple phone, it's already there. Just turn it on and make sure that you're walking three thousand steps a day. Do that for at least three weeks and then kick it up another thousand okay. steps. When you get up in the morning, do your five rights. In the middle of the day, do your five rights. It's only five minutes, goddess. And then before you go to sleep, do your five rights. After you fall in love with your five rights, make sure you sign up for a yoga class. Yeah, right. Or look, you can, yeah, really YouTube, YouTube University, do your own yoga class. Get, get on your phone and do your own yoga. Yeah. You are so right because I do eat very good. I'm like so good at eating. But I'm if you're eating good and you have no movement, then what? Exactly. A body in That's my motion. A body in motion stays in motion. A body that's, that's not yeah. in motion is a dead body. That's yeah, you are very much right. You are so right. And that's that's what I need to do. But I wasn't kind of putting it all together like, okay, this is the issue. Um, you know, let's start doing this and that. Because I don't get massages, I don't go to the car park, so I don't do any of that stuff. I don't go to the gym. See, you so know? that's what you need need to start doing so i hold off on the gym for right now just start doing more of of cardio things stretching jumping jacks uh jumping rope if you can you know uh things like that the five rights is good uh hot yoga would be very good for you mm -hmm. you, you, you go into a big sauna and y'all just do yoga and you sweating out moving that circulatory system because what you have is you have stagnated lymphatic fluids built up and guess what uh -huh. holds, guess what the lymphatic fluid holds all the acids so you just have wow. acids sitting in certain areas of your body yeah. that you gotta neutralize uh, so you right gotta now, get it out the body it's, it's swollen like on this side yeah see because you got you got you have interstitial fluid that's just built up but if you move that arm and massage that arm i bet you that stuff will leave so you and if you can get somebody find where, where uh, are you located at what state say that one more time what, what state are you in I'm New Jersey. New Jersey. So yeah. find a lymphatic find a lymphatic drainage place out there that'll help you do a lymphatic massage. Book a session okay. there and let them do some deep tissue massages on you. But yeah. goddess, you need movement. Okay. And what you need? Movement. Thank you very, very much. All right, make sure you take the herbs, take those herbs and uh hydrate and you'll be okay, I promise you. Okay, thank you so so much. Appreciate uh -huh. that. I Appreciate you. Okay. All right, peace. It's that top left. It's a little X. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm finna be out. I'm finna be out there, Tali. Give me one second, man. My baby boy out there crying for me. I'm gonna do one more. I'm going to do one more. All right, I'm waiting for somebody to come in. I was going to do one more. Peace, peace. How you feeling, goddess? I'm doing good. How are you? Oh, my I'm God. I literally good. prayed. I prayed that you would answer. Well, God answered he your prayers. So what's your name? Where you did. from? <laughs> what's your name? Where you from? Me. Um, my name is Mara from Orlando. Orlando, Florida in the building. Shouts out to Florida. What you got going on? Talk to me, goddess. Um, I was sick at the beginning of January. Um, some type of viral mm -hmm. thing was going on. They couldn't figure out what was going on. Um, they did all my tests, CBC with differential, CRP um rf they even did um autoimmune testing on me nothing so did they say it was psychoimmune they didn't say anything they basically just said that they were going to refer me to a neurologist so basically i was sick and then i took a couple antibiotics um and i it caused heartburn after it looks really bad first reaction yeah and and so I went to a GI specialist. They ended up doing an endoscopy and that came back normal. So shortly after that, which is what I'm experiencing right now, um, I started having, well, I'm having muscle twitch, twitching, mm -hmm. muscle aches really bad. Every single day it's been like this for a month and a half right now. Mm -hmm. So they don't know what's going they on. At check all. you for multiple sclerosis? Um, um, I had a MRI, mm -hmm. um, and that came back normal. It no lesion. Back normal too. Mm -hmm. It sounds like a 
nervous system it sounds like a nervous system issue uh more particularly an autonomic nervous system issue especially when you're getting twitching and because this is involuntary twitching it's not like you voluntarily twitching so any type of any any involuntary type of movements in your body without you saying commanding it to do so is always connected to the nervous system the autonomic nervous system or what we are call the adrenal glands mm -hmm. uh so this is what i would like to do since everything did come back negative and they couldn't find mm -hmm. nothing they usually bang, blame it on autoimmune disease mm -hmm. so they couldn't even blame it on that mm -hmm. then they usually blame blame it on psychoimmune disease so that's mm -hmm. why they said that they're gonna send you to a neurologist but mm -hmm. this is what i would do I think we need to go after the kidneys and the adrenals, heal okay. up the kidneys and adrenals, completely detoxify the kidneys and the adrenals. And then mm -hmm. once we do that, we go from there. Usually when you detox the kidneys and the adrenals, everything go away. So we're just going to change your environment, put you on an all alkaline form and diet. And then I think you need to get the kidney and adrenal kit off the site and make sure that you hydrating. Uh, are you lacking any sleep? Um, Honestly, with the aches and twitches, I've been waking up at like, every night i can't go back to sleep because i'm so like worried about you know going to the neurologist and like any type of als or anything like yeah, that. yeah i'm just it, gonna say that too yeah so look let's do this let's let's cleanse the autonomic nervous system these are things that run on autopilot mm -hmm. so uh the kidney and adrenal kit uh how tall are you how much do you weigh right now um five seven 170 three all right so we could put you on a good little diet that's what i think i think you need to do a 60 percent fruit and a 40 percent vegetable diet uh okay. your diet need to consist of things that's high in anthocyanins and uh antioxidants so these okay. will be berries uh these will be things like grapes uh cherries anything that really grow from a vine mm -hmm. uh your melons any type of vine fruit uh, is what you want to be high in i'm not saying that you can't eat the other fruits but make mm -hmm. sure that you eat your vine fruits a lot you know what I'm saying? Uh, berries, blueberries, blackberries, cherries, you know, strawberries, even though that's a bush, not a vine, your strawberries. That way you're getting a lot of uh, antioxidants and oxygens to the cells. Uh, mangoes are going to be very good for you as well. Okay. And then you need to make sure you're getting a lot of electrolytes. So out of, out of this 55 ounces of water intake that I'm telling you to do, I think that you should do at least 30 of that should be juice. Now, if, if it becomes too expensive, then of course you can just, uh, you can flip them. And you would do 30% water and then the other 20 to 25, you'll do juice and just ratio it out that way that you at least still getting juice inside of your system because you're going to need all of those electrolytes and, uh, and all those metabolites that's in the juice to help you out. So 55 ounces of liquid intake a day, uh, uh, 60, 40, 60% fruit, 40% vegetables in the kidney and adrenal kit to address those adrenals. And nine times out of 10, once you correct the adrenals and you get the adrenals back online and they're not so stimulated because right now they sound like they stimulated, which makes them go out of whack every day all day even my stomach like there is yeah. just practice. but it sounds like it sounds like a stress like that adverse reaction and you mm -hmm. killing off those back those microbials the, mm -hmm. the microbiome that was in your gut mm -hmm. sent the stress signal and it sounds like that your body is in a constant state of fight or flight mm -hmm. if you ask me that's mm -hmm. what it sounds like that you're in a constant state of fight or flight so the body is trying to get you to flee but there's nothing to flee from, so you're constantly getting those twitch reactions. It's the same thing when you start looking at Tourette's and things like that. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you think about it, that is an actual twitch reaction too, except sometimes it's with words, it's with blurts. And so, I mean, it's most definitely neurological, but guess what runs the neurological function in the other body? The autonomic nervous system, the adrenal glands. The auto, that's that's the first brain, which is the gut. You see what I'm saying? The right. second one would be would be the central nervous system or what they call the brain. So mm -hmm. kidney and adrenal kit and follow everything I just said. While you waiting on the kidney and adrenal kit to get to you, you need to go to your local herbal store and get you something called uh go to cola. G U T go G G O T U Cola. Okay. Uh another one is called uh uh, go to cola, hawthorn berry would be good as well. And you can do all teas out of this. And another one is called ginkgo berry. G-I-N-K-G-O. Let me spell it. I know I spelled that wrong. <laughs> I'm like, hold on. I'm saying like, okay, I'm just going to try hold to. Let me, yeah, let me Google that. <laughs> I'm spelling that wrong as hell. <laughs> All right, so it's G-I-N-K-G-O. Okay, you said the other one was Hawthorn? Yeah, Hawthorn Berry. Okay. And you're going to use these all, all, all as teas. Okay. So this, 
because I don't want to put you on anything that's going to help stimulate them more. We're trying to calm it down. Right. So you need things like chamomile. Chamomile will calm down the actual nervous chamomile. system. Blue Verivane, uh, not blue Verivane, that excited. Uh, another one, valerian root. Mm -hmm. Valerian root will calm down. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. You too stimulated. You in the state of fight or flight. I yeah, am. that's what, and antibiotics though. You didn't mess. You didn't messed up the like, gut. Mic. They like what the hell? They <laughs> running for their life. That's exactly what's and, happening. Yeah, I gotta be honest. I have been stressed because I'm naturally healthy. Like, I get I get this virus, and it was literally one thing after another, one thing after. And I was like, God, what is happening? Yeah. Like, I've never had heartburn yeah, outside of. Bring, I have, but heart heartburn could it be? That's that's because heartburn come from a, a a microbial called Helicobacter pylori. It could be that. And they check. They, they check did a, H pylori. You didn't have H pylori. No. Ooh, you see what I'm saying? I'm like, Lord, like, is this cancer? What is this? <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, ain't no cancer. It ain't no cancer. What's going on is your body is highly stressed, and you in a you in a stage of fight or flight, and we got to calm those adrenals down. Mm -hmm. Once we once we calm that endocrine system down, I bet you these symptom these symptoms will will go away quick. So should I still like? Should I just hold off on the the whole neuro the neuro? Uh, so me personally, if it was Yaki. I like the, I I will I like for sure things I will go just mm -hmm. because especially you got insurance. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah. if your insurance is gonna take care of it, you got a small copay. Why not? Right. You see what I'm saying? So, the whole because you know, Doctor Google, you can't listen. I stopped doing that. Yeah, Google but... will Google, Google will bullshit you every time. <laughs> <laughs> Google, hey, you think you dying? <laughs> listen, it pulls up the worst. First. Yeah, yeah, that's what oh. they do because they want they want to get themselves. Yeah. Yeah, so about the whole ALS, like, because I never really, I know MS, like, I hear you talk about it all the time, mm -hmm. um, but I don't know too much about, like, ALS, but I was told by I don't see, it doesn't sound like that. No, it don't sound like it at all. When you, whenever you're looking at MS, whenever you're looking at fibromyalgia and ALS, is these are all the same neurological uh, they, disease. They call it a, a they call it an autoimmune neurological diseases okay. usually you okay. check the brain for lesions you check the spinal cord for lesions and stuff like that you said they checked you and it ain't none of that i'm pretty sure i'm i'm telling you what it is it's some adrenal gland the only thing <laughs> that was kind of off that they said that she was she was uh checking me for and like trying to bring up was my b12 because it was on a 200 and up or 200 mm -hmm. to 1100 it was mm -hmm. 420 something Man, that's that's super high. So they need to check. They should have checked your folate and your B six levels as well. They checked my folate; it was normal. So it was the scale was two hundred. The normal scale was two hundred to eleven. Yeah, mine came back at four. So she said it was low. So that mean yeah, and that mean that you're not breaking down proteins correctly either. Mm -hmm. Did they mm -hmm. check your kidneys and your protein, your kidney, your creat, your creatine? Yeah. So the first time I went to the doctor they checked my ck levels okay and it was slightly elevated only mm. one i had muscle aches at first and then they turned a month later they turned into spasms and twitching only elevated one time then it went back hey, down. i bet you you are magnesium deficient they checked my your magnesium. Ma magnesium your magnesium was <laughs> regular too <laughs> yes what the hell I know. this one no that's what I'm <laughs> Yeah. So, but you see, I'm going through all the stuff that I would check, and they doing so. Look, they doing the right thing. They going through all of this. So the last thing I can only the last thing I can even think about is the kidneys and adrenals. It have to be the autonomic nervous system. That'll be the last thing. And if that don't work, you can come to my clinic, and I check you. If if they, let's try the kidneys and adrenals, and if that don't work, you can come to St. Louis. I was sure gonna reach out to you for a console. I know it's high, but I was. Gonna <laughs> Cause that's <laughs> crazy. So yeah, let's let's do the kidney and adrenal kid and everything I said. Let's give that a month. If that don't work in thirty days, if you don't start seeing the twitching uh, going away or the muscle spasms going away, uh, most definitely you can come out. You can come out to the clinic here, and then we we do all the testing here at our laboratory. Yeah, for sure. Hey, now sure. I'm done. We we finna go. Uh, email. Send me your uh your email and your phone number. Okay. And I'm gonna pass it to Nabi. Cause if it don't work, you can just come out here. It's just one of those cases where she's been checked. Everything is normal according to the CBC chart and the urinalysis and blood work. Mm -hmm. But she's still going through all the symptomologies. Mm -hmm. And then they, they send her off to a, 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 neuro, a neurological doctor. You know what I'm saying? A neurologist. But it's like. She's going to send it to me okay. and I'm going to send it to you.
zero next if the vitamin stuff did not work. But I've been on the the vitamin D fifty thousand. This week was my second week doing it because my PCP wanted me to try to bring the levels up, and she was going to check it in a month. And if that didn't work and the B12 didn't work, she said. So they got you on vitamin D. Yes, they have me on vitamin D, um, fifty thousand. Do they got you on vitamin C as well, ascorbic acid? Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Yes. See, I wouldn't even did that. I wouldn't have put you. On, I would have put you on ascorbic acid. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let's 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 try to go after the adrenals and see and see what we get with that with the diet. And then if if that don't work, which that should take care of everything. But if it don't, then I bring you in here and we'll draw your blood. We'll get everything checked out ourselves, and then we'll go through the process of elimination because that's the only thing that they're doing. They're doing mm -hmm. the process of elimination. That's all, all they've been doing for weeks. Yeah. So yeah, that's one of them weird phenomena that yeah, I want to I want to work on that. See, this is the type of stuff I'm into right here. Cause you got my mind like, what the hell? So let's do it. Let's do right, it. So, so you want shoot, to shoot me a DM right now. Shoot it now, cause it's gonna be a hundred. It's gonna be probably like a hundred to five hundred DMs by the time I get off this live. So shoot it now. That way it's in there. I sent you one in the past, but I'm gonna send it right now. Okay, perfect. All right. All right, peace. Appreciate. It's all, all good. I'm on my way, little man. Yo, I got to see them. The time I got to get on that case because that's crazy. But I bet you it is her adrenals nine times out of ten. But we got to check those adrenals. I bet you it's her adrenals. And we got, we need to do a metabolic pen on her as well. But I bet you it's the adrenals. Look, I'm out of here, y'all. Peace, love, light, and healing. Peace to the gods. Peace to the earth. Uh, I'll be live again Sunday. Uh, Sunday, I think I want to show y'all. I want to do a whole class on fasting and sleeping and uh, autophagy. So I think that's what we're going to talk about Sunday. So most high willing, I'll be live Sunday. Uh, peace, love, light, and healing. Peace to the gods. Peace to the earth. I love all of y'all. Write down everything I said. Remember, you know, a lot of us, there's a, there's a very, very select few of us that's at the forefront of new thought, of new thinking. And uh, I am one of those. So even though the things I say sound crazy and, and sound taboo, all I ask is that if it's people that disagree with me and if there's books that disagree with me, try what I'm saying. Just try it. You know, do the clinicals, get out there in the field and apply this knowledge and information yourself and you will see a big difference. You'll see a big difference. Uh, I've only been wrong a few times in my life. And those few times I've came on this platform and said I was wrong and apologized to the people. I'm not stiff necked. I'm not uh I'm not on the high horse. I don't have a big head. I actually have a very, very humble uh heart and a humble mentality for all the stuff I do know. I can be out here and being braggadocious, but I don't be. I'm forever a student, which is what makes me a teacher. So, you know, I say before a lot of people get on here and try to discredit me, try it for yourself. Really try it. Get in the field and try it to disprove me. Don't disprove me with other people's thoughts. Cause now we just having thought wars. We don't have clinical wars. Let's get into some clinical clinical debates, experimental debates, uh, not intellectual debates, because anybody can sound smart. So peace, little light of healing, peace to the guys, peace to the earth. I love y'all. Dr. Yaki or Yakai Rafa Elohim back at you. Uh, we're going to get them flyers out for the, the graduation and uh, for the first tour date, which is going to be in Atlanta, officially in Atlanta. Uh, we Obviously, I had a date, but Nabi didn't solidify it, so I'll get that later on today or tomorrow. And uh, what else? Oh, new products. The whole entire product line looked different. Uh, we made some vibrant colors to it. Labels are changed. So y'all going to see a bunch of new products uh, coming out that look totally different. Even the three bitter bags different. A lot of people was jocking my labels and uh, making their products look just like mine. And so we changed it up a little bit. So be looking for that. And the website is being updated as well. So I love y'all. Peace, love, light of healing. Peace to the guys. Peace to the earth. Put your city down in the comments. Peace.